hi this is a video I should have done a while ago but I had to wait for something with it now this is what I'm looking at these are Cindy doll knitting pattern books and they are gorgeous we're gonna have a quick look in the box yes I know I don't knit I crochet I can knit I just don't knit because I don't like it I prefer to crochet anything but my mum does the knitting for my dolls for me oh book fell over then um, so we're going to have a quick look at the books. They are absolutely gorgeous. I am going to put the links in where you can get these from. Let me get the name right. I hate it when I get people's names wrong. We have Susan Dunlop here. And I pop links in. You can have a look. They are wonderful books. But I wanted my mum to do some knitting first before I looked at the books. So I could sort of say genuinely whether they were easy patterns, not easy patterns, whether they were enjoyable to do. Uh, all those little bits and bobs that you do when you do a pattern so I've got my mum to make some outfits and she she absolutely loved it she got a little bit giddy uh, she's made quite a few and she's she wants the books back so I need to get the video done so as my mum can do some other bits and pieces because um, obviously my granddaughter likes these and yeah they sort of do most people in the family will want a doll outfit at some point in our house so I'm going to go top down now uh, let me know if you've bought these books I will definitely definitely pop the link in definitely look over there uh, they are reasonably priced I mean they're lovely to look at I don't knit but I could tell instantly just looking at them they were gorgeous and and I love some of the styles a little bit more updated love the vintage styles we have some of the very well a particular book we have a Cindy knitting book which is so gorgeous that my mum's got um and that goes back oh I don't know how old that is that's quite old I'll have to show you that at some point I don't don't think I've shown it anyone but I will I'll get that one out actually uh, and find some of the vintage items that she's made from there as well so we can have a look at both but this is nice to have something modern I know like my granddaughter for example she wants the more modern outfits I like to mix and match so it's great to do both this book will do that for you well these books there's two books isn't there so we're gonna go top down look at the books have a look at some of the items my mum's made comment on what my mum feels about the book um I know it's all good so don't worry about that it is just a lovely lovely book so we're going to go top down and have a look at these now so here we are with these gorgeous books by Susan Dunlop as I say I found them purely because one of the other doll collectors I know had made some of the items I'm like oh where's they got them from they're really cute so I did a bit of research and I eventually found Susan on here and as you can see I mean if you look at those these books we do have a curvy Barbie here because it does say it's for 11 to 12 inch dolls urban chic knitting patterns and we have modern knitting patterns and that is what they are but they will go with your vintage items if you do prefer vintage so if we have a look on the back of the book you can see again some of the items different dolls here yeah, I love this design and again on the back we've even got some in there for Ken or it could be Paul if you wanted and probably some of it I know Action Man's a slightly larger guy but there's a chance some of it would fit him too so as I said lovely lovely box I think she self-publishes but I will put the links for everything in here and look because I'd contacted her I got it signed as well which is always nice little bit of introduction acknowledgements etc and then there's all these different things I mean we're not going to sort of look at the pattern because I don't think that's fair to sort of show patterns but you can see we have some beautiful beautiful knitting I mean her knitting's immaculate anyway but the patterns are so lovely we've got our fella there haven't we so again we have the same with this one one's that one is that one of my favorites look again i think that might fit action man you know in fact i might have to ask my mum if she'll do one of those for a certain little somebody um i love that one that's gorgeous i love how even though i don't knit some of these give me ideas like putting zips in knitting things like that things i've never really had a go at but when i looked in the book i'm like yeah i could do that very nicely sort of written that's a nice one isn't it and the photos are lovely look at these photos here i said i enjoyed just looking through them just to look at the pictures and everything like i say even though i don't knit i just thought they were all so so lovely so the books themselves are wonderful just from a non-knitting perspective they are wonderful but i got my mum to knit them because i'm all right going oh yeah lovely book but i've not made anything so i don't know 
whether it knits well. They are, I think, are they purely British terms, UK knitting uh, terms, I think. Again, I'm not that up on the difference between, I know for crochet the difference between the, the pattern types, but I'm not sure how knitting works. I know my mum's done a few American knitting patterns as well. Um, I think there's a bit of a difference. I don't think it's the terms, it's just the way it's worded that's slightly different. She, I'll tell you now, she loved these books. She wants these books back, as I mentioned, because she wants to get on and make some other things. She is going to get cross with me, though, because she gave me the items partially done. Uh, my mum's 83, and some of the little fiddly bits, you know, putting the buttons on and things like that, she usually leaves for me to do, and I haven't got around to do them, but I wanted to do this because she wants the books back, and also I wanted to move on to the next section. So I'm going to show you some of the knitting she has done. So we have a little jacket here, and I say, do we do need buttons, etc., etc. But I love that. I love how this patterning comes out. Mum, well, like me, my mum loves a variegated yarn. So we have some really cute little outfits here. So there is a bit of stitching, etc., to do. But I don't mind finishing them off for a. Well, she normally does. You can see how there she's left some thread. Um, that's just so I can sort of crochet it sort of a buttonhole or something like that. But that's a really nice one. I like that one. And this is the short version of the one I really liked in there. So again, they do need a bit of a press. But I just pinched them off her and I said, oh, I'm going to do the video. And she's going, I haven't finished. So as I said, I'm probably going to be in bother. I love this edge. This edge is so, so cute. So the patterns, she said, were easy. They're easy to understand. She had no problems with any of them. This is one thing with knitting, it does curl. I don't get that so much with crochet, but it does curl with knitting. So it just needs a little bit of a press, but that's not a big deal. And as I said, I've got to add buttons and a couple of stitchings up and things like that. But they've turned out beautifully. As I say, my mum said the patterns were nice to read. Again, nice to look at. Uh, it was nice because a lot of the wools as well were similar ones to what my mum uses. So that was good. Um, yeah, I, she couldn't fault it. She thinks it's a lovely book. And because we have, in fact, I've just got some yarn. I might be passing her some yarn back because I've just got some pink fluffy like that. So uh, I did tell her earlier I got it for her. Um, so I might be passing it back because I think that would look really cute for sort of well, Barbie or Cindy um, in the pink fluff. That's the one I want. I need that one. But yeah, lovely box. Definitely have a look at her items. If you look on the on Instagram, you will see pictures of the items made up as well. You'll probably see links to other people who have made them. And they were well and truly worth buying. So it was just basically a quick review to say that. To say that mum had no problems at all with the patterns. I know some in the past she's said to me, oh, well, you know, it was hard to read and things like that. She not one sort of complaint about these. They're really nicely sort of worded and a joy to look at. I think that makes a difference. It makes you want to make it if you see it and you go, oh, it's really nice. Or it's setting a scene and you go, oh, that looks really good. It gives you a little bit of incentive as well. So I've got to get these all finished before I'm in bother for not doing that. Uh, so as I can get my girls into them. But obviously I can't take any photos at the moment because I need to finish them off. Um, because Dolicon is so close. I don't think that's going to happen for the next couple of weeks. So but I just wanted to share this with you. Definitely recommend you go on and have a look at her books. Um, because I just love them. It was just so nice to see a now pattern for our Cindy. I know there is Barbie and Ken in there as well, but Cindy, quite often you can't get any patterns that I would class as modern. So yeah, thank you so much, Susan, for creating these books. I'll definitely be looking out for any others you do. Um, and I'll pop the links for the rest of you to have a look on her pages. I'll put Instagram, etc. etc. So you can have a good look at what she's got to offer. So thank you so much for watching. Um, please like, subscribe, and share. You know how it goes. And I'll see you all very soon with another video. Bye bye for now.